And the masters of the universe. I am Adam. Prince of Eternia and defender of the secrets of Castle Grayskull. This is Cringer, my fearless friend. Fabulous secret powers were revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! became the mighty battle cat and I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Our friends, the Sorceress, Man at Arms, and Orko. Together we defend Castle Grayskull from the evil forces of Skeletor. Patience grows thin. <laughs> grows how? Thin. Very thin. Oh, no, boss. You aren't too thin, if anything. I say you look a little fat. <laughs> you tin-tongued dolt. I'm talking about my patience, not my body. Uh, yes, Deltor. Castle Grayskull is the source of ultimate power. Power which must be mine. I have tried to conquer it six times. Uh, seven. Yo! Six, you flea-bitten fur brain. The first one didn't count. It was only practice. I was teasing the poor fool. Uh, I, I guess He-Man can't take a joke. He-Man? I've been foiled by that muscle-bound moron one too many times. I will defeat He-Man. Uh, you'd need an army to defeat He-Man. An army? Yes. I need an army. But all I have is a robot fleet, machines to pilot my ships, and a couple of stupid assistants. I'm talking to you, you dim-witted duo. What is it that holds your attention more than the mighty Skeletor? A joust. The Royal Guard is having a joust at the palace. A joust? You ignore me to watch the Royal Guard play games? I should. Mm, the Royal Guard? Of course! The Royal Guard! I will capture the palace and make the guard my slaves. And with their weapons and fighting skills at my disposal, not even He-Man will be able to stop me. <laughs> Sunbeams sting a bit. Got you. Aha, uh -huh. that's ten more points for me. <laughs> that Tila sure is a stunner. Tila, very good. You must be proud. Tila's the best pilot in the fleet. Yes, Tila's doing well. Oh dear. It looks like Tila's in trouble. Tila is a skillful pilot, but she still has much to learn. Does it bring back memories, my dear? You know me well, my king. Here comes Tila. You were great, Tila. If that's supposed to be funny, it isn't. I lost. She didn't mean that, Adam. You did well, my daughter. Don't spoil the performance by being a bad loser. If I did so well, why did I lose? You grew careless and forgot to be observant. But he was above me. There was nothing I could do. I couldn't aim at him up there. Excuse me. On Earth, we had a maneuver called the Immelman Turn. I could show it to you if you'd like. Sure, uh, sometime maybe. Look, Father, if a ship is above me, there is absolutely no way I can reach it. The Sky Sled doesn't have top guns. <laughs> Oh. 
Uh, roger, Rainbow Explorer. Lines cleared. Checks clear. Over. Roger, NASA. Rainbow Explorer, commence countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Ah, here you are. I thought I should find you here, my dear. Man-at-Arms did a nice job of rebuilding your ship, didn't he? <laughs> yes, and I'm glad. This ship means so much to me. It means a great deal to me, too. After all, this was the ship that brought you to me. By the grace of Eternia, what is that? Are you all right? What happened? Meteor strike. Hit the engines. Fuel lines blew. Couldn't hold it. Oh, who are you? <laughs> and where on earth am I? I know not of Earth. I am Randor, King of Eternia. Eternia? You need rest. Return with me to my palace. You shall be my guest while you recover. But... I think you will find it comfortable and pleasant. In a few days, you will be well and can return to your Earth. A few days, you said. But I fell in love with you and with this planet. And I just couldn't bring myself to leave. Yet there are moments when this royal life can seem too calm, at least compared to my days as a space pilot. Yes, Skeletor has not been causing much trouble of late, and I, for one, have been glad for the chance to relax. Speaking of relaxation, we'll be going to the beach for a picnic after the joust. Will you join us, my dear? No, not now. Though I'm sure it will be lovely. I'd just like to spend a few more moments with the Rainbow Explorer. Of course, my dear. I quite understand. I shall see you upon our return. Ah, there you are, the so-called rulers of Eternia. I shall capture them and... Uh, I thought you were going to attack the palace. Just as I suspected. Hollow! Well, well, what's your plan, then? You metal-munching moron. If I capture that Wind Raider, I will have the King, the Captain of the Royal Guard, and her father, the Weapons Specialist. Why should we capture them? I thought you were going to attack the palace. Uh, why do I surround myself with fools? Even the robots are smarter than you. He means you. I mean... Both of you, you pathetic pair of pitiful pinheads! Listen to me! If I capture their rulers, the Royal Guard will have no one to lead them. I will conquer the palace easily. Go warm up the collector. Soon the palace will be mine for the taking! <laughs> Jousting sure works up an appetite. And watching a joust. I'm ready for seconds. I, 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 I think I just, just lost my appetite. Skeletor, quickly everyone, into the Wind Raider. <laughs> They're running away. So impolite. Well, you'd better freeze them with a freeze ray, Trapjaw. Right, boss. <laughs> Some sort of freeze ray. Yeah, can't move. You can shut the ray off now, Trapjaw. They'll be frozen for an hour at least. Right, boss. Beastman, go get the power chains. We don't want our guests to escape. Right, Skeletor. I will chain them up tight. I'm very good at that. I hope so. You must be good for something. <laughs> I have you now. All of Eternia's leaders captured in a single stroke. And without your protection, the royal palace shall fall beneath the might of Skeletor. <laughs> Perhaps.
perhaps the best place for you is in a museum. You are from another place in time, after all. And now, back to my life as Queen of Eternia. Your Majesty. Yes, what is it, Lieutenant? Your Majesty, we've just received a communication from Skeletor. He has captured the King, Prince Adam, and the rest of the party. Oh, no. That villain, what does he want? Skeletor demands unconditional surrender. He wants the royal palace. Never. If that demon thinks we will surrender so easily, he'd better think again. Scouts report that he has massed a great fleet of robot battlecraft. Can we beat them? I don't know. Our men are willing to fight, but without Captain Teela, our man-at-arms, to lead them... Go on. I must know all the details. The palace will take heavy damages. Shall we prepare for defense? No. When Skeletor arrives, he will be prepared for a fight. And I do not like the idea of my home becoming a battleground. Get every man aloft in every ship we have. Skeletor will not be expecting an attack. We will take him by surprise. Quickly! Old friend, we have a job to do. Skeletor has my husband, my son, and my dearest friends. And we're going to get them back. When do we go, Lieutenant? Not yet. The Queen said to wait for the lead ship. The lead ship? Which is the lead ship? I don't know. I don't think so. It can't be Skeletor yet. Then what? By Eternia, look! I've never seen a ship like that one, but I know a lead ship when I see one. Come on, then. Comfortable? No, not very. Good. You will excuse my keeping you out here, but there are secrets inside Snake Mountain that are not for the eyes of the enemy. Can't you become he man? <clears throat> I can't free my hands. We may be stuck this time, my friend. Try to relax. Soon I shall move you to more comfortable quarters. The dungeons of the Royal Palace of Skeletor! <laughs> you evil monster! If I could get loose, I'd... Calm yourself, Tila. You cannot succeed. The palace is heavily guarded. Ah, but I have the King of Eternia and Tila, the captain of the guard. Since the guard is now without a leader, I think I shall conquer them easily. <laughs> Make ready to attack, men. Beastman, you fly the Collector. Be ready to scoop up the guards as we conquer them. Right, Skeletor. Trapjaw, you will control the robot ships from the Basher. Right, boss. And I myself shall lead the attack in the Doom Buster. It's a pity that your chains prevent you from bowing before the new King of Eternia. It's a pity these chains prevent me from getting my hands on you, you hooded hoodlum. Strong words, Captain. I shall remember them. We'll see if you talk so bravely in the prison mines of Skeletor. You haven't won yet. Only a matter of time, Captain. Even now, your army cowers in the palace awaiting my... What? It's the Royal Guard. Take them, men! What kind of ship is that?
is in the Royal Museum? That's right, Orko. Forget it, Adam. You can't break these chains. Go try to find He-Man. Right. By the power of Grayskull. Person who can. Look, there's He Man! And now, for getting two birds with one stone. stand here and throw rocks all day. I have to get up there, and I think I know how. great pleasure to introduce you to the best pilot that a planet called Earth ever produced. Marlena, my queen. Your majesty. Your majesty. Ma your majesty. Will you teach me to fly like that? Yes, Tila. Tomorrow. Tila. Tila learns quickly. Uh, Mother, I, I was just wondering. Yes, what is it, Adam? Well, I was wondering when Skeletor had us all chained up, why did you free me instead of one of the others? Because you are my son, Adam. I didn't have time to free everyone. And I had a feeling you would know what to do. Mother, uh... Adam, a mother always knows her own son and what he is capable of doing 
always been very proud of you, Adam. Your Majesty, I want to thank you for coming to our rescue and for teaching me more about flying. You're most welcome, Taylor. You'd be surprised at what we old-timers know. And we still remember what it's like to be young and think you've learned everything. Well, not everything. And speaking of learning, I was wondering if you would teach me to fly the rainbow. I'd be glad to, but only if you teach me to fly the sky sled. You've got a deal. <laughs>